and today we're going to be reading The Goat's Coat by Tom Percival, illustrated by Christine Pym. Let me tell you the tale of Alfonso the goat, who was terribly proud of his lovely new coat. It had bright shiny buttons, all made out of glass, and a collar the color of freshly cut grass. People turned to admire as Alfonso walked by. What a marvelous coat, he heard someone sigh. Alfonso was happy, he pranced and he skipped, and then he heard a sad noise croaking out of a ditch. Deep down in the ditch was a family of frogs. They used to live there in a mossy old log. But the log wasn't there, it had rotted away, and the frogs from the log now had nowhere to stay. The frogs were distraught. Please help us, they cried, and Alfonso felt sorry for them, so he tried. He unpicked some stitches upon his new coat, and, using the fabric, helped make them a boat. The frogs were delighted. He just made their day. Oh, thank you, they croaked as they all sailed away. Alfonso's new coat didn't look quite so smart, but he felt a warm glow in the depths of his heart. He clipped happily on till he came to a shed. The sound from within filled Alfonso with dread. What could possibly make such a sad sound as that? Alfonso peered in, and then he saw a cat. The cat was trembling and terribly pale. It was clear to see that she'd hurt her tail. Alfonso got busy and cleaned up the cut, and then using his coat, he bandaged it up. The cat was so glad, so grateful and happy, but Alfonso's coat was now looking quite ratty. He clip-clopped along through the crisp winter's day. He was whistling a song when a hen came his way. The hen was upset. She'd lost one of her chicks. Could this be something Alfonso could fix? Together, the hen and Alfonso looked around. But the hen's little chick just couldn't be found. Then somewhere up high, a voice cried, Help me! And there was the chick stuck up in a tree. So Alfonso removed even more of his coat and tied it together to make a long rope. He gritted his teeth and then climbed up like a rocket. He came down again with the chick in his pocket. Alfonso's new coat was now looking a mess. Still, what's done is done. It was all for the best. As Alfonso walked on, there were more problems still, but he helped solve them all with his coat and his skill. Alfonso's new coat was now just a few threads, but he thought of the good deeds that he'd done instead. The weather grew colder and snow fell all around. Poor coatless Alfonso trudged back towards town. The blizzard grew worse and it got colder and colder. Alfonso took shelter behind a large boulder. Alfonso was freezing and night would soon fall, so he curled up into a cold little ball. But then he heard voices ring out through the night, and someone was shining around a really bright light. Here came the frogs, the cat, and the hen. He wasn't alone, he'd been found by his friends. Seeing them all made Alfonso feel better, and not only that, they had brought him a sweater. They had made it themselves from the things they could find. A gift to Alfonso for being so kind. And so our dear goat had made best friends forever, and he wore his new sweater, whatever the weather. Thank you for reading with me, friends. Be sure to subscribe so we can read more stories together.